Okay, folks, here's a quick review of the Walmart exclusive six inch Iron Man figure that was produced by Hasbro as a part of the Marvel Avengers line of products. I picked this up at Walmart for $15.96. For this series of reviews, I wanted to go in order of availability for these Walmart Avengers exclusive figures. Iron Man was the easiest to find in my area, uh, right alongside Captain America. When I first got Iron Man out of the blister pack, I immediately noticed that this is the same Iron Man Mark VI figure that was included in the Iron Man The Armored Avenger 6-inch uh, figure line. The only immediate difference that I noticed uh, was that the paint apps have been altered slightly to give this version of the figure a battle damage look. Also, uh, peg holes have been added to allow you to pose the figure on the included base if you so choose. Now I did notice some paint app errors in the thigh area uh, of the left leg, and there was also some paint chipping in the right knee area. The facial area was well done. I did notice some articulation improvements. Now if you recall my review of the Iron Man Mark VI 6-inch uh, figure, you'll recall that the abdominal joint was very loose, almost to the point of breaking. This time around, I was happy to find that there was no such defect in this figure's abdominal joint. All the other joints uh, in the head, the wrists, the elbows, the knees, and feet function perfectly right out of the package. On a side note, if you do have the previous Mark VI figure from the Armored Avenger line, you can use uh, the extra hands that were included uh, with that figure with this figure. They change out the exact same way. So what I'll do here is pause, zoom in, and give you a closer look as to what the figure looks like. Now, Iron Man didn't come with any accessories except for the base that he's standing on. But what I'll do is pan down and show you uh, what that looks like in a little better detail. And it should be noted that all these Walmart exclusive Avengers figures come with the exact same base. And uh, I think they're great for uh, dioramas. Okay, so as you can see, there are three pegs on this base right here, here, and here. Uh, all these bases have the Avengers A logo on them, and you can interconnect these bases together in multiple ways via these uh, tabs that you see all around the uh, figure base right here. And as I said, I think that's a, a great way to create some custom dioramas uh, for these Avengers figures. All right, back to the figure itself. What I'll do now is a quick 360 of Iron Man and let you see what he looks like from all sides. Okay. So overall, um, I, I like this Iron Man figure. I was glad to see that some improvements had been made in the abdominal joint uh, articulation. Now if you missed out on the Iron Man Mark VI figure from the Armored Avenger line, then I feel that this is an excellent Iron Man to get for your collection. If you're satisfied with the previous figure, then I don't see a need to rush out to get this one, which is likely one reason uh, why he's easy to find in my area Walmart stores. So therefore, I'm going to give this figure a great recommendation, but provisionally so. Alright, so on that note, take care and stay tuned for my next review. Have a good one.